Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Hello, this video is a little late and uh, I honestly almost didn't even make it because y'all know if you've been here a while, I'm terrible at TBRs. I am literally the worst at TBRs. I am so bad at assigned reading, I just can't do it. I cannot do it. However, here I am making another TBR again just because like, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know. Okay, so I make no guarantees that I'm going to read it. I'm going to read at least some of these. I'm going to read at least some of these. But, but, these are all books that I really, really want to read. These are all books that are interesting me right this moment. And the funny thing is, is that, like, I actually had this video planned to do last week, but then I got too busy and I couldn't make it. And I had, like, all of this adult fantasy on my TBR and I was like so excited for all of it that was like where I was that was like my mood I wanted all of the adult fantasy and then and then I read um a book that either you will see in a vlog or you've already seen in a vlog an indie romance and now I'm just sort of like give me all of the in the drama filled indie romance but I only have like one or two. Anyway, okay, let's get into it. Sorry, once again, a long intro. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are ten books that I really want to read right now. I make no guarantees about any of them. So the first book that I want to, except for, the, except for, except for these two. The first book that I want to read is an arc. This book comes out at the end of September. It is The Duke Gets Desperate by Diana Quincy. I love this cover. I think it's so beautiful and I'm very, very excited about this book. I love Diana Quincy. I think that her books are so fun and I really, really enjoy, I've honestly enjoyed every book of hers that I've read. So I'm excited about this one. The next book is another arc, but this one doesn't come out until October, and I'm actually in the middle of this one right now. It is A Not-So-Distant Love by Heidi Kimball, and this is the, a sequel of sorts. It's not necessarily a sequel, like, you don't need to read them in order, but this is the next book in her Highland series. Uh, I just recently reread Heart in the Highlands by her. It's one of my favorite books. It's so beautiful. I just love it so much. So I got an arc of this. I'm on her arc team, and I'm very, very excited. This book comes out October 24th. And this book is about our, the daughter who's in the first book. So we get to see her have a romance. So I've, I've already started it. I'm really enjoying it so far. I just really love her writing and the slow and careful way that she builds her romances and her families. And I just think it's great. So the only thing I know is that she goes to America with a cousin and she ends up meeting uh, her love interest over there. And they have sort of like, they sort of butt heads. I wouldn't necessarily call it full on enemies to lovers, but they are definitely, they dislike each other at first sight. So it's been, it's really great so far. I, I'm just such a huge fan of this author. I think she's incredible. So the next book that is also a book that I have started, I pre-ordered this on my Kindle and I started it the night it came out, like when it drops on your Kindle, like at midnight, you know, 10 o'clock my time. But then I had arcs that I was reading and it didn't, I didn't get to it in time. So I still really, really want to read this. This is Feathers from the Sky by Jess Wisecup, I believe. And this is a vampire romance. So I'm only like five or 6% into it. And uh, I don't really have enough read to have a full opinion of it, but I do want to finish it. So I love vampire romances so much. Okay, the next book. This is also a book that I have started that I have not finished, but I will be finishing it in September. And it is A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. I really enjoyed Divine Rivals. And I'm about 30% of the way into this, but I, my mood was calling me towards something else. And so I kind of put it on hold. It wasn't a permanent DNF. It was just sort of like my brain needed something that wasn't as slow paced as that and I typically love 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 slow paced books but I needed something a little like quicker for an audiobook so I definitely want to read that this has um Faye in it and I think it's set in Scotland or Ireland I don't know anyway okay and the next book that I want to read is called The Crown of Rosamund so this book I don't really know anything about I found this on my library on Libby when I was just browsing for audiobooks and it was with uh, a bunch of, oh it's narrated by somebody that I really like. I really love this narrator. And I saw the cover and I was like, interesting. And I thought it was going to be like a medieval romance. It's from the synopsis. It sounds like almost like a Sleeping Beauty type of setup. Maybe not. Where we have the princess, her parents are killed and she's sent off into the woods to be raised and live there. And then she ends up when she's 16, she meets like a local boy who comes out and finds her and she's supposed to like save her 
go back and save her kingdom. I think that's the gist of it. So I think that sounds really fun. And uh, I'm interested in this one. I feel like I've read this author before, like a million years ago, but I couldn't tell you anything about it. Okay, now the next book that I want to read is called The Deep by River Solomon. So this is a novella. I've been interested in this for years. I think the cover is so gorgeous. And I just really, really, really want to read it. All that I really know about this is that it's basically the descendants of African women who were thrown overboard, who have then, I think they sort of like developed into mermaids or they turn into mermaids and they have a community society living underground, but I don't really know what the plot is other than that. I do know that I think that this author has won the Hugo Award before, so I am I have really high hopes for that one. Okay, and now another book that I want to read is Foxglove, which is the sequel to Belladonna, which I recently reread and loved, and I'm very, very excited about this one. Super duper excited about this one. Uh, okay, and then we have The Choice by A. Jade. I really want to read this. So this one is one that I like I'm dying to get to. Very excited about that one. I don't really know anything about it other than it is featuring the side characters from the words and that's all I know. I think maybe it's a second chance. I don't know for sure. And then I have two buddy reads. So one of them is Heir to Seven Waters that I'm going to be buddy reading with Jessen. This is book four in the Seven Waters series. I've really loved reading all of the Juliet Merliers that I have read, and I am extremely excited to get back to this world, and I just love her writing so much, so I'm excited about that one. And then my last book is a buddy read with my dear friend Jen from the Book Refuge. We are going to be reading Brusinger, which we have already started, and this is book three in the uh, Inheritance Cycle by Christopher Pellini. We both love the series so much, and I feel like I've only read this book once, so I think a lot of it is going to be new to me. I'm very, very, very excited about it. So, okay, my friends, there you have it. There's a short little video. I hope you all enjoyed this, and uh, let me know what you want to read in September, and also let me know if there are any books on here that you really, really, really want me to read. Let me know. And uh, if you've made it this far, please feel free to leave me a leaf emoji for September, and I'll see you all in my next video.